Welcome back to another vlog. I'm going to start this one off, unfortunately, on a really rough note. Um, because of that review that, again, Samantha has left us, now a person we had booked as well has denied us. And uh, we're going to have no place to stay, not only for 10 days, but now over a month. We're going to maybe be living from our car if we don't get this working. People are so bad in this country, like what she said. I don't even know if I want to like, read this or, or what I want to do, but I, I guess I'm going to try to read this out loud to you. So... Here's what she said. Hello, uh, I am afraid this is not working out well for me. I have used house sitters from this site on many occasions and have never had such a limited exchange of information. We have had just one bad experience and the issues from that one are very similar to those raised by a review on a very recent house sit by you. This was too high risk. I have not made other arrangements, so I'm sorry, but I am canceling this one. Helen. Yeah, so as you can see, this is insane. No one cares about leaving people in the streets. It's just like you see people on social media trying to like uh, take uh, uh, the money where people are making with drop shipping. Just like, oh look people, look, it's drop shipping, look, this is the money you can kind of be paying. And a bunch of people are just like, they are not care about drop shippers anymore. They're just like, damn, they're just doing that for a living. You, trying to make people homeless? Let me show you what I responded to her with. It's a long one, take a couple minutes. Wow, you've left us without insurance, even due to being over 14 days away. Samantha left a review literally stating we were complaining about her dogs making our legs bleed and admitting to having a camera inside, which goes against the terms of service on trusted house sitters. She secretly recorded me and my girlfriend, and we've been through more hell in the last couple of weeks since then than you could understand. She left a false review and trusted house sitters has since even suspended Samantha's account after our proof we have sent. I am awaiting to see if they will also take down her false review because she has left us with four stars after all our hard work trying to make a five star profile, buying gifts for pets and leaving gifts upon finishing sits for hosts, taking specific care of pets and treating them well even in horrible circumstances such as Samantha's listing. And now we have people rejecting us constantly despite her showing she's a bad person in the review even. She's literally saying we were complaining about bleeding, Helen. I have not stopped being shocked at how bad the people are in the UK since we have both arrived here. Because of her and people like you, now we may both very likely be living from our car for weeks because no normal person can afford 100 pounds per day for a small hotel room. I record my life in vlogs as a YouTuber, and I have shown people how bad this country has been for us. What information is it that you exactly want, Helen? Do you want to know what we do for work? How much money we make? What our favorite color is? What is this that you wanted? We tried complying with you, but just like many others in the country, you have also shown why this country is so problematic and why so many people are leaving it while immigrants continue to flood it and create chaos, further bringing this country down to the status of third world. Our, And after reading this, I am certain you will think, wow, I made a good decision denying them, yet you know nothing about us. Whether we are truly good people or not, and what we have been through over the last two years, barely trying to survive during the creation of a business abroad. Not that anyone cares at the end of the day. It is truly insane that I cannot cancel as a guest, and I'm locked into a sit, even if I have a change of mind. Yet any host can randomly cancel without warning, and this company allows hosts to use people like us as slaves without payment. No one should be doing jobs like this for free simply to stay in a house that would already be vacant, no matter what. It's a form of slavery and a violation of human rights, I truly believe. When we are over all of this and finally become successful and have made millions, we will never forget how people treated us at our weakest and most vulnerable points. God is watching all and everything will be made fair in the end and every action we create will be balanced. Farewell, Helen. So that is what I said, essentially to her, um, the, the direct comment, and I don't know what you're going to think of all this, but for me, that is shocking, like how bad these people are everywhere in the UK, and I, I just think my message fully brought through the point that it's problematic with this country, you don't know what someone's been through, and you're just, she's using this excuse, I've seen several other people like this on the website doing this, they use this excuse to try to pry and sense information, like, like, uh, Jessica, I think, was one of the first people we talked to back when we were in a hotel trying to start all this, uh, having a place to stay. And she was several hours late to the call, didn't act sorry really at all, basically, over it. And she was trying to ask very sense information, even, like, getting the name of our business, almost, like, wh how much we're making, literally. So there are people like this, and a lot of them on here. And I think they do it just to try to frick you in your business if they, you do anything they don't like. It's like, terrifying, and I just want to know we're going to have a place to stay and some type of money survive properly. 
and I'm so happy I can post this and show people on YouTube and maybe get this out there because I saw people never show things like how they actually truly are and I'm so tired of it. I don't want to just show you when I have money and all my hard work is gone finally and I went and I'm on the beach now riding a jet ski or going paragliding whatever like I want to actually show you how hellish this world is doing things because you don't see this people don't show you I and at least I can at the end of the day she just listed her place back yes I'm aware she probably would do that obviously I'm in shock oh she doesn't get anyone Knowing this country, she might. She just got one cat as well. People with one cat. They're horrible, problematic people. Uh, Crazy cat she's lady. Rider. Rider. Yeah, she's a uh, rider. If you want to know her name, for example, that I don't think you can be sued for that because there are so many. People no, I already said it. It's it's Helen, and uh, I think that name. Is really, I don't know. It, it starts with Hell. Helen. <laughs> I've even seen like TV shows lots of times showing people's names and cause issues really, with it. Yeah. And again, Drake and Josh, if you ever watched that, like a uh, woman that always played favorites in that would constantly be really bad to Josh and really nice to Drake. And her name was Helen as well on the show. I think uh, they do a lot of psychological research in shows and they name uh, people based on that. Or uh, maybe it's even their real names, I don't know. But uh, either way, it fit them, right? Like for how people generally are. Like I said, there are specific names that really cause us problems constantly. And. Fortunately, this has been one of them. We're gonna try to not be homeless. I just really don't want to live in the car or be in a situation, um, you know, truly. And uh, we've been trying to research as much as we can, work on things while moving and planning and traveling. And just it's stressful, you know. It's not like when you're at home. If you're thinking about this and thinking, oh, maybe we could have done more, like it's not so easy when you are traveling abroad and you're always having to try to find a place to stay and take care of pets on schedule and. Worrying about giving uh, daily updates and stuff. And now Gene from this place won't even respond. He left us on red after I gave him an update. And he's just really acting cold about things. Who knows if he even got in contact with her. That's why she canceled on us. Because uh, you should have told them. When I woke up, went to see outside the package came. Yeah, a package came and the neighbors were gossiping. Really ass faces. Horrible with the guy for delivery. Before we even got down. And it looks like they're trying to gossip almost about us even or something. Like never had this happen before. And the kids have not come around for a while, yeah, which tells acting he's acting very weird. And that tells me the kids were there at the beginning to keep a watch on us, I'm quite certain. And uh, I just don't know how much more of this country I can take. I just, I don't know about driving out to another country even, or how things will be there. I'm, I'm scared, you know, I'm worried. I truly am. I don't, I don't want life to be like this. It's like this because governments make it so difficult for you to do anything going across countries or help bring someone to a country. And I just don't know what to do anymore. It's so difficult. And I can't give up on what I'm doing. There's no option. I don't, I, I would rather, honestly, not be alive maybe than have to like go do a standard job again and, and like go back to all that and be separated after everything, after everything we've been through. I, this is absurd. We don't have much time. We have like nine days here, so and as if like we feel like we're always maybe going to be kicked out. Like we bought some food in the fridge, waiting for yogurt or any uh, frozen vegetables will be be taken from us. The last pounds I'm spending for some groceries and Wi-Fi doesn't work. Uh, Wi-Fi looks like it was blocked. Alexa's showing it based on the color the ring is showing. Uh, I think he's maybe been blocking that. He's trying to trick us any way possible. Uh, Water, and I start getting bloody cold. For showering, every time you shower, just you, not me. Which tells me he could be maybe somehow looking through, seeing us naked in ways uh, I'm not aware. The alarm waking us up. I already talked about the alarm before. Yeah, this is horrible, and I'm really just. I'm so, I'm so sad. I am. I am ready for two things gonna change my life. What are they? Ready to make money or ready to die. There's just this only two choices that I accept. That's correct. You either make money or you die. That's how it goes. And I choose to make money 
I will not give up until my last dying breath. Will be it will be what we do. It will. I just and hope it's you soon enough. Have an opportunity and a choice. Correct. I truly hope things can get better with this. I truly do. I'm trying to post YouTube videos on top of this one a day. Like it, it's actually in, it really depends. Sometimes it works, sometimes it's not. But um, <sighs> I'm having severe pain in my stress. Left eye uh, yeah. When that happens, because you're gonna go through a really horrible stress in the uh, next days, and things are gonna make us so stressed out. Yeah. If the car also will not like. We gotta get our bags packed and do have any boxes so in case that happens we can maybe try to call an Uber temporarily to go somewhere. But we would be completely homeless then. I'm panicking so much. I don't know what to do. I don't have money even fly to our country. We are in such a bad situation right now I can't even describe. It's always not even working at all. We're trying everything we can with YouTube, YouTube takes time works. and, and it, it it's helped tiny bit but I feel like like what the guy in the the, the course said, they shadow ban you already if, if it doesn't go with their agenda and what they do, essentially. And they have specific agendas they want to push out. And if they've already done that, then you're freaked. And yeah, shadow banning happens all the time. It's happened on Twitter, happens on YouTube. I've seen it with comments randomly being hidden by, I think, YouTube itself. Perhaps. Maybe it could have been the owner of the channel. But I know for certain TikTok also does it. If you do something, they will shadow ban you. That is something definitely found in China as well as the United States and probably other countries. It's a very common term. Something people say was a conspiracy theory, theory before, but it's not. It's not. People are just not aware enough of how bad things actually are and how corrupt things actually are. So I'm going to leave this off here and I'll give you an update probably in a few days. Or if probably something else is going to happen. I just... We're really stressed out, not well at all. Like constantly aging, more no everywhere. Family. No family isn't you to help, nothing. Like we're fricked, we're done. You know, having family is really important, but you generally won't have good family in general. You know, guys, if we be successful, like uh, if we succeed and we don't cut our throats, you guys are gonna go and look at him and just say, oh, he's so lucky. Oh, he's so lucky. Oh, I hate him. I no, hate I, I, I see a lot of people do this. Like, I'm not saying, we're not saying all of you will do that, but we're saying there will be more people than there should be just saying, oh, you're lucky, despite how hard we've worked for this. And I'm so tired of people saying that. Like, if you ever see someone saying that and you're like, no, no, you need to see what they did, show them a video like this and just help them understand. I, I wish I was faking this. I wish I was lying. <laughs> We could be homeless living in the car. The worst thing is that, but I think the worst thing is when you go try everything, everything really, and your last penny. Yeah. And you can't anymore. And then you just have to go and look around and just try to find a way to yourself. You Doesn't can't it? talk about this in the vlog. Yeah. You can't talk about these things. I have to cut that out. So, because YouTube does not. That's not kid friendly and uh, it's promoting things, so no, you have to get rid of that. But, um, yeah, uh, that, that's it for now. I'll come back in a little bit. So, uh, here's my next update. As you can see, what the dog has done to the yard. You can't, anything we try, we try locking him inside like, like normal or letting him out in the yard or during the night at all. And it doesn't matter what he, we do or if he's in the living room, he's causing some issues all the way through the carpet. Like, you just can't win. You genuinely cannot win with a dog like this. This is horrible. Like, look at this. This is absurd. I don't know how to fix this. This is horrible. I just don't know how much I, or I can deal with people like this in a platform not helping at all. I think uh, people in the UK, they like hiding things and the lying a lot. Yeah. Uh, every time we work for someone, they always would like freak out about something like please do this, do this and they would never tell you the reason why <laughs> just like Samantha, uh, she would uh, freak out about doing specific things and they don't want to be straight to fake They don't tell you what's going on actually They don't want to uh, like, let you know that mm -hmm. they don't train their dogs, they're not good enough in what they do mm -hmm. and uh, if you try to tell that to them, they're just gonna freak out because they know it's the truth 
and they're gonna try to go and freak you. And there's just something not understanding really why people are not just straight at your face. Because they don't want to be the manipulative. Those people. When something happens, they just going to start blaming you, saying it's your fault. That's yep. why uh, that happened because you didn't do. Do you know why? Abusive. This country's full of abusive people. In psychology, look, it's abuse everywhere, constant abuse in various forms. The way people treat in this platform is like uh, you are a kid, you don't have anything to do, you don't have a job, you don't have a, like dreams, you don't have anything to achieve in your Correct. life. And maybe not even, you don't even eat, so like you're just a, a retarded AI. <laughs> I think that summarizes it pretty good, especially after the last one. We're gonna try to fix this. I can't handle this country. Here is what I did. It looks like much better. It's been a bunch of work, but it got done thankfully. Yeah, like, like what you were just saying. He gets upset every time we hug each other or do anything. And he just tried to bite me out there a bunch of times, crawling, jumping on me. And I'd be really careful. He would bend my arm. Very like allergies are like rough here. Wow. Sneezed a bunch. Anyways, um, yeah, he, he's crazy. Like jumping on us and. Kind of literally jump and go and bite into our arms, our, our arms here, like, it's absurd how many scratches he left. I think if they're trying to kill you, even you can't leave the place without letting the owner make proper arrangements or you can get banned off the platform. This is absurd. And it's like a person I was talking to and I found in a Skype chat randomly from an old friend who talked to one of his friends and she was in the US, or in the US, and she barely ever traveled to Mexico and was like, yeah, I travel abroad. And I'm like, bro, I traveled the world and was like, I was just talking about some issues. Uh, well, I had a broad, like, like, in Poland and stuff in our areas and saying, like, people are rough in these areas in the UK as well. And she's looking all offended saying, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Have you traveled to every single little, little house? And I'm like, that's not how it works in statistics generally. Like, you can get, like, a, a pretty rough, accurate estimate. Uh, you can get a pretty accurate estimate, I would say, based on just traveling to some of the major cities. I know I did in Brazil, and I traveled to a lot of other cities on top of that. Things change, and people just become assholes in different ways. And more so, it does cover it quite well. And then just going on to try to like keep hounding me my age. She was 36 and uh, trying to find out my age and belittle me for it, saying I was younger and didn't know anything because I was younger. And I should be thankful for people who are older who uh, made stuff basically before I was born or be like respectful of it. And I just was face palming the whole time because I haven't said bruh at all. And she's like, bro, who says that? You're like a kid. And I'm like, dude. I just called her a boomer, I'm sorry, because it's absurd, she was acting like a boomer, completely, like, dude, you're gonna judge the way I speak, when new generations like me come up and we speak this way now, it's just like internet culture in general, what's happened is people like that have gotten out of touch with reality because they're a bit older, I saw people, that causes the most issues traveling in Poland or anywhere generally would be 30 years old or older, always, uh, the most racist people constantly causing her issues all the time, and just being a nightmare for us. And it's what I've seen, and it's because they're outdated in the way they think and do things. They're more racist, same in the US. People might be racist the older they are. Doesn't mean everyone who's old is racist, but it's more I could have outdated generations. However, new generations also have their own issues, accepting things maybe they shouldn't always be accepting. So you have like problems on both ends of the spectrum. Although, in some way, I feel like younger people are almost more accepting in a lot of ways, and like, able to understand more and I think that's because they have liquid like fluid memory versus crystal if you know much about like that and how it, our memory changes as we age obviously uh, it be, we become set in our ways more and we learn about this when you study uh, neurology and all this, all these things and, and how your brain functions but just to see like someone like that to be close to 40 and have so little experience and think they know so much talking about me being wrong when I've traveled a bunch of areas around the world now already and seen so many things and recorded and documented so much as well and she's telling me I'm wrong like to see someone act this way and be a little someone just because they don't like him and, and disagree with them because they're subjective versus being objective compared to someone that like, like us have traveled and know all this and at a much younger age it truly puts in perspective like what I've said before, it's so right. Age does not exactly correlate to wisdom and experience. It can often, but there are rarer cases, you know. It really depends on what you've done in your life. It's why third world people are more mature and an adult at 14, for example, whereas like the woman I talked to in the US, she's 36, almost 40, and acted like a child in the head. 
and it's just bizarre because like the audio even you can tell by her voice already she's negative not a great person and her name also suggests it I'm not gonna say the name because there's no people watching I already said one name I probably shouldn't have because people too many people get offended it's just how it works it's not like everyone with that name is gonna always be bad but high 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 chance right high chance anyways I don't know maybe I'll say it. it's like uh, Brittany I think uh, it's again not everyone is gonna have issues who has that name but looks like it's a high ranking issue in the US so uh, again name psychology is extremely important and uh, you study this for your business and anything else you do as well that's been my experience with that and I just it's crazy how, how these people are uh, blow our minds and really just like makes you thankful that you are not like that and that you are able to see things more and you want to update things better and uh, you see the problems when people are racist or when people are just living horribly and you want to update things make things better in, in quality of life but these people just I haven't I have to say a, a lot of Americans have an issue being spoiled and not knowing how good they have it and thinking they can judge and know what how the rest of the world is same issue the US government has had taking over a bunch of places killing a bunch of people families kids etc in the Middle East just for some oil People are finally starting to come out and be aware of this and some military personnel are stepping out about this, like stepping out, speaking about this and it's great to see, but it's not nearly enough people and we've been terrorizing places and I feel like people in the US also often can be kind of terrorizing in a lot of ways because of that. Like, It's really important to understand that we cannot be imposing things on other countries like this like the US has done. Instead, we should show them how to improve things and try to make things better. And obviously not live in an area where it's suboptimal and risky and endangering your health. Uh, anyways, just a very toxic person I had encountered. And Well, we're waiting on the package to come. We're going to hopefully get all set up. And uh, oh, Also, the light in the living room, I'll show you right over here, has randomly stopped working. Let's see if it's still not working. Look at that. Because last night we were talking about like doing this, setting up this table and everything right there to go do the video and such. Guess what happened? Guess what happened? Literally, just now, today, the light's gone off. And guess what? The alarm sound that woke us up hasn't went off ever since. This guy is probably remotely controlling. I know he controls these lights. He demonstrated to me. I'm Alexa. And on his phone, everything. He is probably recording, hearing all kinds of things, controlling the lights even. Just randomly, it won't work now. This guy's like a prick trying to stop us from doing anything. If I was like, we have to move to a different room. If if this is all coincidence somehow, that is one of the biggest coincidences I've ever seen in my life. Like just the next day after we talked about this last night. I'm, I, I feel like maybe someone can understand me. This is really a bit weird. I mean, I'm quite certain he's controlling things and doing something. Like how, how much things are being monitored. And people don't take me seriously when I'm recording and I'm vlogging this and posting it. But they will once it gets a bunch of views. And people start like, like speaking about this. However, people still won't care until it affects them. Like, oh, people found out who they were. Or like, like all that. Like, like if that happens, then they care. That's the only time people are going to care. So uh, it's just, it's how bad people are. It's just how they are in general. So yeah, I have no idea how to fix this. I just... I just don't know. I don't understand why people want to be so bad. But that's it for now. Um, I might even end the, the vlog here for now. I think um, that's about it for now. Again, we are we've already started dropshipping and uh, go into this properly and get everything done. Dropshipping 2023 is as hard as it's ever been from what I see. And we're going to go straight ahead as hard as we can at this once we get the microphone in because that's testing the box my samsung couldn't hear properly uh all the noises and we're gonna upload tiktok we want like proper things so um he's also turned off the internet again today every time we wake up uh, just right after we wake up she woke up earlier and when it was fine and then internet's off and now that's showing the ring on alexa again uh, after both of us were working about the time we normally, uh, normally get up. So yeah, he's constantly doing crap and the camera doesn't work up there because it's hooked up to the internet here and I think he knows all this. Like, no, it's not coincidence. It's just, it's too weird to be coincidence. Anyways, hopefully the microphone will work great with all this and uh, we can get some good videos made and hopefully make some type of money to help have a place to stay at, have some rent, you know, be uh, 
much better than living in a car. So, um, let's know, let us know if you have any questions or anything you, you're curious about. And um, I, I guess that's all for now. So, thank you so much for watching. We'll give you an update on how these videos go and our marketing goes. And I'll see you in the next one coming up. Take care and until then.